Today, I'll be quickly showing you how you can create your own AI agent in just a few minutes. And for those who have not yet gone for the AI assistant and who have not seen how to use automation platforms to make your own AI assistant, this video is for them to get started quickly. So let me show you what I have done so far. These are all my AI agents. I have the email marketing agent. In digital marketing, email marketing plays a vital role. So email marketing agent is helping me to create and send the email campaigns to all my contacts or to selected contacts. Then I have social media manager. This social media manager takes care of the social media platforms. It is reading from the RSS feeds and it is making the posts to all the platforms. Then is blogger, which researches the keywords. And based on the keyword list that I have provided, it creates the blog posts and it publishes them to blog websites uh, with, of course, internal links, external links, and so on. Then is the ads manager. If I want to run social media ad, YouTube ad, or any Google ad, it takes care of all the ads. In fact, this ad manager has multiple ads manager. Uh, one is for the social media ads manager. Another is for Google ads manager and so on. Then is the keyword research agent. This agent is being used by the blogger. So first the keyword research is done depending upon what is your niche, you can use that. Then I have system administrator to do various tasks. Sophia, you might have seen that the email which you are sending to info at syncbricks.com. This is being replied by Sophia. Sophia is in fact my AI assistant. She takes care of uh, all the emails that are received and then the emails are sent to draft and I review them and I submit. 90% of the emails are taken care by this bot. Then is bot to bot. If I want the bot to get the help from another bot, so it takes care of that. Then is DB analyst agent. This particular agent is taking care of the Postgres and MySQL database. It is taking the data from there and giving me the response based on whatever results I want to know. Then is YouTube assistant. This assistant is helping me to reply to the comments and it also helps me to understand if there is any spam and it blocks that. So how I have done this, I have this NATN. NATN is one of the best automation platform. I'm still using make.com, Pabli Connect and various other platforms. But N8N is a great tool. You can do a lot with this tool. There are limitless possibilities with N8N. And the good thing is that you can self-host it also. Of course, with self-host, you will not get all the features. You will get unlimited workflows, unlimited tasks, and so on. How to install it on Home Lab? I have provided the tutorial in the description where you can understand that how we can get started on Home Lab. But if you want to use cloud, let me first of all show you the pricing quickly, depending upon how many workflows you want you can accordingly use. Uh, so how we can get started, we will simply click on get started, provide your email sync bricks. And you will get a magic link, log into your account, you will be landing to this particular page. So what you can do here, you can simply click here on plus sign here. So you can either create the workflow credentials or project. These are the workflows which I have already created, create workflow. So this will be a simple AI agent that you are going to create. So we will be creating a simple agent. The first step in this is trigger. So what we are going to do, for example, I'm going to chat with this. So I will make a simple chat trigger here because we are going to create this as an agent. So I will just go back and right now we have not added. If I type in chat here, you can see, hello, chat message has gone, but what next? So we are going to connect an AI agent with this so that we get the response back. So AI agent is like your agent, the person whom you have hired to give you response or who will be working on the instructions that you provide. We will create our first agent. So I'll click on plus sign here. So it will give me list of what happens next. So we are going to, of course, create an advanced AI. So if I click on advanced AI, so I'm going to get an AI agent here. So this will be my first agent. I will just go back here. I will not do anything right now. So you can see here that the first step is that I'm going to chat. So if I chat again here, for example, hello, of course, nothing will happen because AI agent is right now not having any knowledge. So we have got an AI agent, but we did not tell it that how you will respond me, which language you will respond me to, what language do you understand and all of that. So which means that to this agent, we are going to connect a model so that it will be able to communicate back with me. So what I'll do, I will simply click here on plus sign with the chat model. There are, of course, Olama chat model is there where I have provided the link in the description. You can have your own AI chat models in your home lab. But I'll be using OpenAI chat model. 
which I have been using for a long time. And of course, you are well familiar with this. So here is the credentials. You can, of course, connect with your open API account. And once you have connected, so you'll be able to use these models. So of course, right now, uh, GPT-4 is available, but I'll be going for this particular tutorial, uh, GPT-3.4 Turbo. And now my model is connected here. So it means that now the response can come back from the model. You are talking to AI agent. So AI agent has to respond back. So I will just say, hello, you get a response back. Hello, how can I assist you today? The input was given to open AI chat model understood that I have to respond it back with this way. Of course, chat model is helping to understand the conversation because AI agent has to understand what we have communicated and it is communicating back with me with the response. Agent should have a memory also so that whenever I communicate with the agent, it should store that communication and understand that what exactly he has been communicating previously so that it can understand the context of that. So there are various reasons why we need to have the memory. And there are various memory types which are available or memory technologies which are available. I'll be just clicking on plus sign and to add some memory here. You can see here that there are some Windows buffer memory, which is the easiest one. No credentials are required here. But here you can have the Postgres chat memory. You can have the Redis chat memory. So I'm using chat history in the Postgres table. But for the time being, I'll be using the Windows buffer memory, which is easiest one. So I will not do anything here. Here you can see that context window length is five. So for the current session, it will maintain the memory. All right. So what we have done now, we have done two things here. It has connected with the OpenAI so that it understands the conversation. It has now memory, which means that it can memorize certain things for some time. And then I can also provide some tools to this agent to give it intelligence. Now, for example, if I want to add a calculator here so that when I send any message which contains the calculation so calculator should be able to respond that so calculator should be able to do the calculations send it back to the conversational ai and then it responds back so i will be connecting tools of course there are a variety of tools available you can do the coding tool you can have the email tool and so on so there are various tools but let me first of all connect the calculator here what it does that it makes it easier for an ai agent to perform arithmetic functions so I will not do anything here. I will just simply go back again here. Now we have provided first tool, which is a calculator tool. Suppose if I do what is two plus two, you will now see the chat bot will send the message from here to calculator and calculator will add it to the buffer memory and it will reply me back. You can see here the sum of two plus two is equal to four. So this is how the basic chatbot has done the calculations. As we know that OpenAI does not have the latest information, we also have various tools available. One is the Wikipedia, for example, if I connect Wikipedia here. So Wikipedia is also one of the tools which can give me a lot of information. So I will simply ask from Wikipedia about the population growth in the world. So it is sending the message to Wikipedia and then Wikipedia is sending the response. And based on the response, you can see here what reply has come. So this is not, of course, the reply only from the chat GPT or OpenAI. You can see here that OpenAI chat model has taken the page population growth from where it has taken. It has taken from Wikipedia. You can see here Wikipedia. So it queried the population growth in the world and it gave the response. Based on the response, the OpenAI chat model has prepared the response and here we get the response. You might be thinking that if the chat GPT is there, then why we need to have the AI assistant? AI agent is not only giving you the response from the OpenAI chat model, it is also giving you response from a lot of other places. Now, for example, we have connected Wikipedia, we have connected calculator, we have connected OpenAI chat model. If I double click AI agent, AI agent is right now tools agent, which means that it will be using certain tools to fulfill your request. Suppose if I double click this, you will see here that agent type, these are multiple agent types, as I mentioned earlier also, that even I have the bot to assist me with the keyword research, bot to assist me with the, there is a database administrator also, or database analyst also. So there are multiple type of agents. So one is tool agents, then is conversational agent. I have explained all of these agents. OpenAI functional agent is there. Plan and execute agent is there. A React agent is there. SQL agent is there, where you will be able to connect with various databases, like for example, data sources, Postgres, MySQL, SQLite. There are various type of 
agents available. My agent will be tools agent, which will be giving me response from the tools and from where the input will come. Input will of course come from my previous chat here. So if I execute this, I will mention hello. And now you can see here it has executed one message. And if I double click this AI agent, you can see here this is the input for AI agent and AI agent has given me output here. And here you can see that the chat input is coming from here. This is the chat input. It is by default when you are creating the chat agent, so it is linking. Otherwise, you can of course drag and drop and bring it here. So it will take the input from here. So with this chat message, of course, there are multiple inputs that are coming to you. It's not necessary that you use the chat from here only. So instead of this chat message, which of course is internal chat where you are able to chat from here, if you want to have some other chat, so I will add the first step, for example, telegram here on message. So I will get a message from the telegram and here I already have telegram account here. So I have already connected the API and that API will help me to connect here. So let me get the response from here. All right. So the moment I send any message from the telegram, let me try to send from telegram. So I have sent a message from telegram right now, but it has not executed in this telegram when the message is received, where exactly is the prompt? So I need to double click this and I will see here that the telegram trigger has telegram has sent the message from where message has come. What is the who is the sender and what is the chat and what is the prompt? You can see here this text is in fact the prompt. Hi, instead of take from previous note automatically, I will be choosing define below and in define below, I will just drag and drop this. Now you can see here that it has taken that message from here. Now. What has happened that if I send any message from here, so I will send what is capital of Oman. So node is executed successfully. Right now you can see that output is there, which is the capital of Oman is Muscat. Muscat is the largest city by the area and here it has given me response back. But what we can do now, I need to of course get this response back to the uh, telegram because in telegram when I send the message, I need to of course get the response back. So I need to get the response back. So I will just click here and I will choose telegram. So I will send a text message. Text will be this output, but we need to send to whom because there might be many people using that chat bot and to which chat ID the message should go back. So I will just choose the telegram trigger and in telegram trigger, we had that chat ID. That's it. So now it will be sending the response back to this chat ID from where the message came and to this particular message, it will be giving the response from other input which we have received. Now let's try to execute this again. Now I will send a message from Telegram here, this capital of a man. I have got the message. So what I'll do now, I will just Instead of test this workflow, I will save this now. Telegram AI agent. So this is my Telegram AI agent. So you will simply go here to home, turn this on Telegram AI agent. And now I will start asking any question. I will send the message and I got the response back. So if I double click this, if I see the executions, you can see here, these are the executions. So just now the execution was succeeded. So all other executions are there in case you want to see. So this is how you can connect various other tools also, which are freely available. If I edit this tools, so if I choose the drive, you can download the file and get the result from there also. So how the rag agent works. So I will explain you that in the different videos. So this was a simple tool that helped you to create your own AI agent. Now this AI agent as a telegram is working with me from telegram. I can ask any question and it will give me response. This was just a simple workflow. So what we have done here, so any message that you send from Telegram, so AI agent will receive that message. AI agent will use the conversational AI, which is of course open AI. You can use any other AI model. So based on this chat model, it will receive the response and then it will use its tool, whether it is the calculator tool or Wikipedia or many other tools can be connected. It will look for the appropriate answer and it will give you the response back. So getting the answer can be from your database, getting the answer can be from your file, from any other external tools, external files. Uh, it could be websites, it could be your applications and so on. Once you get the response back, so 
Telegram will give you that response back. So this is the simple and easy way to start creating your own AI agent. I have already explained to you, these are multiple agents that are running on my development environment. This is the cloud environment. And it in .com can not only be used for only this scenario. Of course, there are various scenarios. You can also see that it can be used for the IT ops, uh, sec ops, dev ops, sales, 400 plus integrations are already available there. You can connect it with the single sign on with LDAP. Uh, it is SOC 2 compliant, which is uh, great. In fact, those who are concerned about the security risk. So I have provided the link in the description. If you are signing up using the link which I have provided in the description, of course, that is my affiliate link. I have tried to make it simple and easy so that whoever is not yet familiar with connecting the applications together to get the best from the AI today. If you have any comments to improve this, please mention in the comments. I will be coming back to you with more tips and tricks related to automation platforms. So see you next video. Take care and goodbye.